Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and today I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Aquarius. If Aquarius is your solar, lunar, ascendant, slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. All right, let's see what these tea leaves have to say. And our card for today is the Prince of Swords. Big Venus energy. All right. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. And it is free to subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. So, <clears throat> my goodness, I was just telling Pisces, I have this little cough coming on, I'm trying to keep it held in. I took some elder, old elderberry early. <laughs> elderberry earlier and um, a little bit of honey and I'm hoping that and the and the um, vitamins and supplements and stuff will keep me from getting too sick all right so I'm sorry if I do cough a little bit I am trying to keep it away from the um, from the mic and and all that but you know I can only do so much so I apologize. All right. So we do have a little hummingbird here. And it looks like it is coming right up to its flower to get that beautiful um, pollen. I was going to say nectar. Maybe. Do they get nectar or pollen? Probably both maybe, right? Well, anyways, we have the hummingbird. The hummingbird then is in flight. And we know busy, busy, busy. This is a sharp mind and coupled with that knight of swords energy, we know so intelligent, probably very quick, clever. Okay. Amazing with words. And, um, and so I feel that you are just really kind of on the ball lately. Um, getting one thing done, getting the next thing done. Um, you know, really good at multitasking and, and, um, Maybe even like time management. I always imagine with the hummingbird, there's a lot of um, being very proactive, kind of, you know, when you wake up, you are getting up, you're getting going, right? <laughs> you're not lingering too long. Um, sometimes I do that myself and I have an awful time <laughs> getting myself going. Okay, so. So we also have the moon. We have what looks like a dog possibly here kind of rearing up and the moon behind. So I do feel that with this Knight of Swords energy, there seems to be kind of this real, um, it is very much like a mental attraction. This is almost like a kind of fantasy or, um, you know, some kind of thing that really has built up into desire. And it, yes, it is, it definitely feeds into the physical, but I think that this is really so much a mental thing and almost like a fixation. So with this, this, uh, canine beneath the moon, it really, you think of the kind of the madness of passion, um, almost lacking boundaries, uh, really just, you know, as they say, like when they get the taste of, um, you know, their, whatever the desire is, the, the dog, the, the canine, they'll just keep going after it. Okay. And so, um, I wonder if there is somebody in your life who, you know, I don't know if you have dated them, if this is somebody that you are friends with, if this is um, some kind of courtship. 
Or if this is somebody who you don't have a romantic tie with, but for whatever reason, they have decided on you as kind of being their focus of uh, amorous, amorous intent. <laughs> they um, have a crush on you. They have an obsession, whatever it is. Uh, I think that this is really kind of the, a feeling of like being in love without a limit and being quite aggressive about it. Um, it's almost too much attention and I feel that you are kind of repelled by it. Um, I think at first it maybe seemed kind of like oh, this is a little bit flattering or, you know, I can maybe see myself like, um, you know, being with this person or whatever. But then it became kind of like they just are doing too much and um, kind of uh, think that they can say and do things that are super out of bounds. And, um, I almost imagine like showing up where they're not supposed to be and calling too many times and asking a lot of questions that really aren't, have nothing to do with them and this kind of thing. So I also see we have this little house here. Okay. And the dog, you know, it's, it's right here kind of, um, looking over at this house and I, I almost begin to think of, you know, that, that wolf at the house trying to, you know, blow the door off the thing and get in there. And, and, um, I feel like, you know, there's just a sense of wanting to disengage. And so I really do think that this energy, you know, that you are picking up and this, this kind of, uh, you know, instinct to just kind of put up a wall. Um, I don't think that that's wrong. I think that this person definitely, um, just kind of feels like, like that's just too much. And if, you know, unfortunately, sometimes if we, um, you know, if we give somebody a little inch, they're going to take a mile with it. Right. And so I think just setting firm boundaries, letting them know a no, but also letting the people in your life know that this is happening, documenting if you must, you know, um, any kind of um, interactions that seem, you know, strange or, um, you know, like if they're calling you like 30 times in a day or, you know, whatever it is. Um, just make sure that you are letting somebody know and you are, um, you're kind of keeping track of what's going on because unfortunately, and you know, I don't want to, um, I'm not somebody that likes to cause a, a panic or anything like that. I don't want to, um, you know, make you worry or whatever, but I'm also a realist and I am a woman and this can happen to men, women, other, anybody, you know? And so we all must take care of ourselves. We have to watch out. There are all kinds of people in this world that have, you know, uh, different reasons for the things that they do. And sometimes we just don't understand them or we don't see what their motivations are. So we have to protect ourselves. And, you know, with the internet and the way that all that is, the anonymity of it all, we also have to protect ourselves in that way as well. So, um, you know, just make sure that you are, you know, keeping yourself safe, okay? Um, and if somebody makes you feel weird, follow your intuition, please. Okay, do not choose against yourself. Don't put up with that. All right, so we also have, and I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you have um, a family member who maybe transitioned um, coming through. There is a cardinal right here, and that is always to me somebody coming back and telling you they love you, but also I think they are backing up my sentiment about making sure that you are, um, you know, even things like checking the locks on your doors, making sure your windows are locked when you go to bed at night, this kind of thing. Um, I feel like this is like maybe even like a grandmother or, 
um, somebody like that because I can hear in my he head them telling you to be careful, you know, <laughs> make sure that everything, you know, put, uh, make sure that everything's locked up and, and, um, and that, you know, you check in with somebody. Um, when I was younger, I lived alone for a long time and I was just like, <sighs> you know, um, my uh my acquired mom she would be like well I want you to call me just to let me know or you know send me a message and oh, I thought oh my gosh that's a lot <laughs> I'm like 30 years old but you know what I understand now I really do um it's important for us to keep track of each other to mind each other and and um you know we're very lucky if we have people like that in our lives so um, you either have that person, you find that person for you, um, and you be that person for somebody if they need that as well, okay? All right, so we have a person who's kind of gazing out over here, and we have a heart, and I feel like we just have a group of people here. So I really, I feel like there's some kind of... Um, you know, I almost wonder if this is either going to be like a solstice celebration or maybe New Year's or the things combined. Because I feel like there's a real sense of being around people talking about what, what are, you know, the goals for the next year, what kinds of things are you hoping for, um, what are your own predictions and this kind of um, kind of almost maybe lighthearted, you know, just a place to kind of talk and share and, and, um, you know, really, and then, and then really think about what is it that you want to make of this next year? What, um, what do you envision for yourself? What do you want to manifest? And I think this is a really good time to kind of, uh, write some of that stuff down, maybe even do like a vision board. Okay. And this is where you take, uh, you can make a collage or you can do a drawing or use the words or whatever it is. Um, but make like a little, uh, a little visual representation of the things that you want in your life in this next cycle. And, you know, like for me, um, what can I think of? I would like to, uh, you know, take my daughter to an art museum. I really want to go see some art. It's been a while since I have been to an art show or an art opening, um, even just to a, a museum. So maybe I'll take her to the city and go see some art. She's old enough now. Maybe she'll appreciate some of it. <laughs> um, and I, I need that in my life as well. So I'm going to put that on my vision board, you know. And um, I'd like to maybe probably double my steps this year. Um, I want to do a more walking, walking with the family, getting out, you know, either in the morning or in the evening after dinner. And I'm going to put that on my vision board. <laughs> and so these are some of the things that we can kind of think about, right? And um, so whatever that is for you, uh, this might be a really good time for, um, you know, kind of thinking out there. It doesn't have to be anything big. You know, it doesn't have to even be realistic, but it's a good time for dreaming. It's a good time for setting up those things to, to um, begin the process of manifesting, right? So, oh, we have the eye. Okay, so we do. We have a keen eye here. And I feel like this, I wanted to get away from the beginning part. Uh, with this person who has shown a lot of um, maybe inappropriate amounts of um, interest in you. And I just mean inappropriate because it's, they're really coming on so strong, I think. And so anyways, um, I feel like you have somebody in your life who is also noticing this. And so um, I feel like, you know, there's somebody here who is watching out over you. Um, somebody who is manifest. This is a person that is in the flesh. 
Um, and so I think that, you know, it's important to identify this person and make sure that maybe you are talking with them about what's going on. Okay. Um, and hopefully this thing will just pass, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's unfortunate. It's just kind of a symptom of how the world is now. There are a lot of people and they call it, especially when it's online, it's called like parasocial relationships. And a lot of times it's, you know, we get to know people. We think we like, they're, um, somebody that we read all of their posts or, um, we connect on Facebook, but we haven't seen each other in a long time and you feel like you have a friendship with them. Um, you know, but it's like, you don't really interact. Uh, and so I think a lot of times people get these feelings of, oh, I know them so well and they, you know, we would be perfect and, and, um, it's just not the case, you know, so we have to be, uh, aware and protective of our own space, our own well being. Okay. So we have the Cincy child affirmation cards and I'm going to go ahead and flip through here. I'm trying not to cough. <laughs> Doing my best. Okay. So it says, I am proud of myself. As you should be, Aquarius. As you should be. This is really, it's not been the best year, I don't think. But it's not the worst. And hopefully, this next year is just going to be wildly successful. I feel it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. And if you would be so kind as to like the video, it really helps the channel so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. It is free to subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, please do. I read all of them and they mean so much to me. All right, Aquarius, I love you. Take care of yourself, and we will talk in just a few days.